Hello friends, fans and enemies. Welcome to another Zane Destiny video. This is on another bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh! pack openings. So it's not going to be any bingo in this particular one. This is just going to be a general pack opening with some channel updates and general information and news. Uh, if you do hear any uh, background noise, that's mostly some motorcycles going past the flat or any sort of traffic. So apologize for any extra sound effects that you may hear. What we have in front of me is a bunch of Phantom Rage and Genesis Impact. Recently at my workplace, we were given um, just thank you for working during a pandemic and doing the best you can vouchers. And there wasn't a lot of choice for me on what to spend it on. But I saw that Argos is one of the choices for the vouchers. So I decided to spend all my vouchers on uh, Yugo stuff at um, Argos. So we've got about 29 Phantom Rage and 11 Genesis Impacts. Unfortunately, it's all random whatever you get at Argos. So I don't know. I kind of enjoy like the randomness behind it. I'm not too sure what I'm going to be looking for from this. In all fairness, I don't even know what I want from either of these two sets. But hey-ho, uh, this is a great opportunity for just to show off some pack opening as well as giving some updates regarding the channel. I don't think that was a really good pull on that, that packet, but oh well. Uh, so yeah, what's the what's happening at the moment? So it's been a little while since I've last uploaded. That's mainly, mainly due to the fact that work is getting back to normal. So my schedule is going to be a bit more erratic. It's also I've I do I am doing a um, a course on the side, just a HCS course. And that's going to be taking up some time as well. So the amount of freight, oh, rock band Xena guitar. Sweet. Didn't even know that existed. <laughs> kind of like it. Uh, yeah, so my free time is going to be dedicated to mostly studying. But I do have some plans up on the horizon. Um, of course, there'll be more Yu-Gi-Oh! pack openings as such. Uh, there's other things I'm planning in the future. I... I am getting into Digimon as well. Again, I'm not going to go as heavy as I am with Yu-Gi-Oh, but I have bought the yellow structure deck. Uh, my mother has actually bought the blue starter deck, and we're looking to sort of like build some decks. Uh, Mutant Synthesis. Um, so, yeah, that will be interesting. I might do some like, uh, like some... Is it called Dueling with Digimon? I guess Digimon Battle Games. I might do some recordings with my mum just to, you know, just a bit of fun. Um, I'm also planning, we've got a store that's opened up in Southampton recently called Geek Retreat. And I'm looking forward to actually going there because they actually do like in-game like tournaments and stuff like that. So, well not so much tournaments, but it's just a place for people to hang out and geek out. So I'm looking forward to Maybe doing some recordings from there as well. Um, yeah, I'm just going to be blasting through most of these packs. Again, I'm not too sure what I'm looking for. I don't even know what Phantom Rage really has. I think they have AA Zeus. And I think you can get it in a, I think, a Starlight Rare, I believe. Another synthesis. might have to look into getting some tri brigade stuff cuz um there's a few themed decks that I'm in the process of making actually I will show those off actually um so the other plans I'm, I've got on the horizon so I will plan to do some more figure reviews like I did way back when hey Karas I think you'll be I think it's him and Nevar or Nershaw or something. They're pretty good in like combination. 
Um, yeah, so I am planning to do some figure reviews like I did way back when. Um, one such figure that I've been planning to do a review for a while, I've had it for about a month so far, is the Cycleon uh, Type Lavender, which is pretty much a female transformer, which turns into a bike. Um, oh, see if I can raise the camera a little. But uh, yeah, pretty much a fembot motorcycle lady. Um, of course, getting this is kind of like making me regret not ordering the big Firebird RC because, you know, RC is a really cool transformer. Uh, let's go for a Genesis Impact. So I would like to do a review on that, but what I plan to do is, oh, no pun intended, but have a play of the figure first to get a feel for it and see how badly or how well it transforms and such. And hopefully give a honest and decent review on it. So there'll be that to look forward to. Uh, I do have a number of other figures that I would like to do reviews on, but a number of them might be a bit dated as of now. There's figures I've had from 10 years ago that I've not even done a review on, and they're probably not even relevant, and they're probably not even available anywhere anymore. So not sure how well those will work out. Virtual World Roshi Lao Lao. Of course, I'll still continue doing some more uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! related um, content. So I've pre-ordered a number of different things that have potentially come out. Well, will be coming out, sorry. I got pre-ordered the... Um, oh my goodness. What is it? The King's... I don't want to say King's Cross. <laughs> it's a train station. Uh, but basically, the one of the booster sets that involving Queens, Jacks, and Kings Knight. Honestly, the name escapes me right now, so apologies for that. Uh, so I've um, ordered that booster box, a booster box of it, which I'll plan to do another bingo session with that one. Um, I have pre-ordered the Egyptian God structure decks because, oh, that was a bit of a fun one actually. So I was leaving it off. Because I don't know if anyone ever experienced this, but when trying to pre-order those structure decks, they would offer the booster pack, um, sorry, the structure decks separately to buy separately or the combination like to, you know, buy them both together in a bulk or buy them individually. And the weird thing is every single website was going on the individual prices for the structure decks were only slightly but slightly cheaper than buying them in conjunction like in the combo and that was striking me as absolutely weird so i was like leaving it off thinking oh maybe they're going to readjust the price or anything like that and next minute i knew they're all sold out i'm like what on earth is happening uh luckily recently some websites have got them back on stock for pre-order but uh it was still with the very odd fact that buying the structure decks separately was cheaper than buying them in the combo. I mean, I was looking for all sorts of information, thinking, oh, maybe the combo offers something extra, like an extra play mat or a special dual box, and there was nothing. So I have pre ordered the. Um, oh, awesome. Uh, yeah, I have ordered the uh, Egyptian God Slifer and Obelisk structure decks. I've got three of each, so six structure decks in total, just so I can have a base of three. I will be planning to do like a budget $30 version. Maybe if they're both structure decks combined, or maybe like a Slifer budget and an Obelisk budget, who knows. Um, I haven't gotten around to pre-ordering the uh, Cyberdark uh, structure deck yet. Part of me would want to wait for uh, my local store to get it in stock because I want my I want the Geek Retreat store that's recently opened in my area to be successful. Unfortunately, um, pre-orders are kind of limited and might be a bit behind then. Ordering from my usual places like Total Cards, Chaos Cards, and Magic Madhouse. 
but I want to support my local areas. So I'm willing to stave off ordering online and waiting and hoping and maybe requesting pre-orders at the store for like other structured decks. Even if it means paying a little bit extra, I kind of want to have a store like Geek Retreat succeed in the area because it'll be nice for people to hang out in and have a dedicate, dedicated place to geek out in. Um, so, yeah, sorry again, I'm just whizzing through these. I'm not really looking into anything. I don't even know what I want from them. I just literally had free money to spend, so this is that. I don't even know if I'm going to be... Oh, free range monsters. I might have a use for that. Um, what else am I thinking of reviewing? So, yeah, more Yu-Gi-Oh Yu -Oh stuff. More Digimon stuff, I'm hoping. Um, I do have some pre-built fun decks, non-meta fun decks, with, like, certain themes. So, for example, if I would just pull out an example, uh, like Dark Magician and the Fruit Magician Girls calling it dark fruits so i do have like a bunch of um pre-made decks that i would like to show off they are not meta relevant they are not competitive it's literally just a theme or an archetype archetype and using all cards of that archetype or theme whether they're worthwhile or not and use them in that sort of theme deck just a you know, not to show off or flex or anything like that, but just to make something a bit fun. I'm not a competitive player. And, hey, Stain Greaves. I think I did meet me bore this guy. So I would like to show a few of those deck profiles. Um, what else would I like to... I do have other things to review. Like, um, a while ago, a workmate of mine had... Uh, well, they bought uh, like a paintball mask from online and I thought it was kind of cool. Definitely not paintball worthy. But um, then he also linked me to uh, one called Lux Army. And basically the mask was pretty much like the, uh, was it Exo Armor, I believe? It was uh, yeah, like a variant of like the Fallout 4 Exo Armor. It looked exactly like it. I've had the thing for a while. Even though delivery was kind of precarious. I've order, ordered a few other things from them as well. Like uh, motorcycle gloves and like a leg bag sort of thing. And I believe there was something else that I can't quite remember. But um, yeah, if I, I can show off the box right now. Just note that this image on the box isn't what I ordered. So I did freak out a little when I saw the box. Um, the, the company's a little bit sketchy. I mean, it looks good, but it's definitely not paintball worthy. And I don't know. It's more most likely what you would see as a, oh dear, I'm going to burp on camera. Pardon me. Um... Most like what you'll see is like some sort of scammy, sketchy website sort of thing. But um, it looks cool and it's definitely not for uh, paintball. But it does look like it can hold up against a nerf gun. And I am also in the midst of building some nerf related stuff. Like at the moment, I'm trying to build a nerf bazooka, which isn't all that hard. It's going to be like a... Uh, drain blaster build but I want to do it aesthetically in the form of like the um, RX-78-2 uh, Gundam Bazooka but then yeah yeah will be the Gundam Bazooka the one with like the carry handle that's on the front um, so yeah aesthetically it's going to be inspired by that it's not going to be 100% accurate but that is something I'm currently working on I've got the majority of the build done at the moment it will just be the missile holder rack and uh just painting up really and i'm hoping to show that off at some point okay dry -ton delta oh i don't have any dry -ton cards at all so it's nice getting some of these 
So um, just so clarification, so people know, Argos do sell like Yu-Gi-Oh related products. They sell like a structured deck with, oh, cool. They sell like a structured deck with a booster pack for like nine-ish quid. Or they can sell like, they call it three plus one, but it's pretty much four booster packs for 10 pounds. It, yeah, it's a bit excessive for the type of packs that we got. But again, I had free money, so I bought a bunch of packs. And it is completely random. Like, I got Toon Chaos and Eternity Code on point some time ago. But most of it is just Phantom Rage, unfortunately. But hey-ho, can't complain. Uh, yeah, so nerf-related stuff. Uh, reviewing the odd face mask. Uh, Cycleon review. Uh, model kits, there will be more model kits. I think the next model kit I'm looking into building is the Kotobukiya uh, Frame Arms Hatsune Miku. I am doing a bad preview shot of this, showing Miku's legs. Um, I kind of want to get make her into a weapon system. Well, sorry, the Frame Arms girl stuff is mostly like robot girls with guns. The Hatsune Miku vision version is... Oh dear, I'm going to burp again. <sighs> Drinking too many fizzies. <laughs> Today's my cheat day. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm trying, I want to make uh, Hatsune Miku into like a fight, fighting robot rather than a music girl. I'll do something with her, who knows. Uh, talking about cheat days, um, I've not really said this before, but at the moment I'm wearing uh, braces um feel free to laugh i'm like a 33 year old with braces but oh well um and i'm not really supposed to be having sugar products but uh every once in a while i have like a cheat day not only stop eating sugar for like the braces situation but also for health wise as well as i've gotten back into the gym you know now that the backstreet boys world tour is seemingly getting to a close and things are places are starting to reopen again i'm going back to the gym regularly so i'm trying to aim for like every day after work or before work if i can and trying to get back to my previous fitness levels if i can um so that's another reason why my videos are being a bit infrequent again i'm trying to you know, balance a whole bunch of like hobbies and things like that. So it's probably not a good idea, but um, yeah, I'm trying to do all sorts as much as I can, really. Okay. Uh, continue with mod model kits. There's a whole bunch of model kits that I've yet to build and review. Uh, let's just say I've got things like the Pale Rider. I do actually have two Pale Riders. I've built one, but the other one I've left unassembled only because I wanted to build like the Pale Rider version 2, I believe it was. Do like a scratch build sort of thing. Um, but there's other like scratch build uh, model kits that I need to like show off basically. Uh, again, most of them are quite a few years old, so it's been a while since I bought built a proper model kit but uh yeah be nice just to review and show off i guess uh cosplay wise um i haven't been doing cosplaying for or well, i haven't been to a convention in a very long time but i still do try to make efforts on halloweens when friends have parties and stuff like that um i believe a couple years ago i went as ghost rider last year i went as like an inspired Borderlands Psycho. Um, even made it with like light up eyes and all that as well. So it was kind of cool just for like a fun little uh, house party. Um, but I'm kind of wanting to go a bit bigger. Um, I'm in the midst of kind of getting supplies for like a Beelzemon. Like mask and accessories and cosplay. Cosplay. Uh, but I'm also as a side project making like Tron armor. So I don't know whether I'm going to finish one or both of them. I don't even know if I'll even build both of them or just stick with one. I don't know. I've got so many ideas lying around in my head and so many projects on the go. Will's trying to balance work 
as well as my course. It's gone a bit hectic. Um, I'm probably like overstretching myself and number of things I'm doing, but that's just me. I just like keeping myself busy and trying to keep my creative mind going as much as possible. Uh, yeah, not a lot of great cards in this, I don't think. I think some of like the virtual world ones look kind of cool. And uh, what else? The Tri Brigade stuff are probably useful for a few decks that I've already kind of built, but it would make them better if I wanted to make them more competitive viable. Oh, I will show off um, a few uh, deck archives I got, like big like deck box holders that I've purchased from I'm gonna grab again god that's really sorry I know it's really gross I shouldn't be doing that but oh well I guess it must be camera nerves um yeah I've got like a large um archive ultimate guard archives that I bought from what's the website magic madhouse uh they're really neat really cool um I'll tell you what since we're talking about them I'll grab them out now uh, moved a couple of these deck boxes out the way. So it's these things here. And if I were to grab the top one over. So really they can hold like, uh, I think it's 800 plus cards. But I think they can hold roughly about 10 deck boxes depending on the size of the deck box. So I normally buy like Ultra Pro and Ultimate Guard deck boxes. And these are some of the decks that I've made. So I've kind of given them like theme names. Um, I will do some uh, deck profiles with these. Just grab the purple one next. Hopefully I don't knock everything off the table. Yeah, it's a bit weighty. But these are actually really nice. Just giving a quick preview. <laughs> what a thing. <laughs> yeah, I will do some deck profiles on these um, fun theme non meta decks I've made. Um, so, yeah, I'll get around to that at some point. Oh, and there's a couple more as well. Uh, this one's bigger because it uses um, Endymion and it's got space for, it's got a bunch of spell counters in it. And this one doesn't have a name yet, but it's the it's a bunch of Cosmo. It's a Cosmo deck. Unfortunately, I didn't have it ready for uh, Mela Four for Ranger Avenger the Sith Sixth or whatever. <laughs> words, words. Which I didn't get it ready for Star Wars Day. So yeah, I think it'll be probably something for next year, or if I do want to show it off, I will show it off. But it's again, it's not not competitive or anything. Let me just straighten up the camera because I'm a sloppy cameraman. Okay. Ooh. Nifty. Hey, I needed one of these. Sweet. Um, there is some more theme decks that I plan to make. Um, I have bought three of the, I think it's the Wave of Light structure decks because I want to make some counter fairies. And I need to make another deck, but I don't know what to make. Because technically I've got two spaces left in that box. But, um, hmm, need to think of another theme, I guess. Well, maybe when, um, oh, I'm just going to quote the King's. The King's Booster Box, when that comes out, I'll probably make something inspired using that. Which would be cool. Ooh. More dry down cards. I do need some invoked. Because um, I believe I have a Magical Meltdown, but I don't even have an Alistair to use with it.
Probably another thing I'll try and get back into as well is more uh, gameplay re videos of like um, games and stuff. I did dig out my PS2 during the height of the Backstreet Boys World Tour and played some like retro PS2 games and PS1 games as well. So I don't know, maybe if I'm feeling up for it or if it's something people are interested in, I might do some gameplay recordings again. Um, maybe something similar to what I did with the Gundam Breaker 2 uh, story where I kind of like made it my own story up or something, I don't know. It would be nice to get like the old gaming crew together again and actually maybe do some more GTA stuff actually. I was re-watching those the other day and my gosh, how did people put up with my antics? <laughs> Oh, wow, this is a stop and pack. Ah, oh, that's why Ben 10 was in it. I've got so many nightmare cards now. Awesome. Can never have enough. What else have I ordered? I believe I ordered the uh, the Venom Violet starter deck for Digimon, so I should be getting that at some point, so I can actually start making a purple deck. And I'm gonna burp again because I'm so professional. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> apologies. Um, what else did I order? I did order the uh, reprint of Yugi's legendary deck. So when that comes through, I'll be able to do something with that. I think I mainly need it because I don't actually have an original Black Luster Soldier, soldier uh, ritual spell. Sorry, not monster. Ritual monster. I mean, I don't have the... Um, the Link 4 Black Luster Soldier, or even Black Luster Super Soldier, but um, I would like, at least like the original. Maybe that'll be my next thing. It'll be like a... Because I already have like a warrior themed uh, fun deck, but it's mostly with uh, the legendary dragon warrior monsters. So I wonder if I can do something of amalgamation of like um, Gaia, Celtic Guard, Black Lesser Soldier, Flame Swordsman, something that regards maybe Gear Freed. I mean, it'll be a very messy deck, but again, it's maybe a fun deck and, you know, I kind of want to play it. Might be an interesting... And I suppose if things, like the things I do, is a real interest to people for what to watch, I think at that point I would have to consider like improving my video quality and editing quality. Because if you haven't already guessed, I'm just using very basic Movie Maker to edit my videos. So, um... <laughs> Yeah, that's why everything looks so darn, like, noobish, I guess. But I guess if... Because, again, this YouTube is simply a hobby. Everything I do is just a hobby. Um, like, my artsy creator side, my collecting side, my geeking out side, my reviewing. It is just for hobbies only. I'm not planning to ever make a business out of it. But, um... A friend of mine has offered to sell me their uh, PC systems because right now I'm running on a like a decade old laptop that's not even capable of playing like Undertale. <laughs> so um, I guess if I did have a better setup, maybe I can look into purchasing a proper like video editing software so I can at least do like picture on picture. That's the one thing I've noticed that I've not been able to do or Windows, Windows Movie Maker can actually ever do is like 
a picture on a video like I would like to just put like a little preview thing down here to say oh this is what I'm talking about but uh we'll see maybe it'll be a time sort of thing or maybe it'll never happen at all who knows maybe I'll go on like a decade-long hiatus all over again whole bunch of booster pack rubbish at the floor. I've got a few dry charm cards. I don't know if any of these are like the staples to use in any sort of ritual decks, but I'll have a look for it later. these cards I just haven't seen before. Oh, I think Warning Point might be a good one to play around with. That's a motorcycle going by again. Probably like the first Magistus card I ever got. <laughs> awesome. Right, so that was all 40 packs of Genesis Impact and uh, Phantom Rage. So to summarize, uh, I'll be doing some like figure reviews. Uh, the next one will be Cyclion and some random purchase reviews on a Lux Army uh, mask and gloves and accessories. Um, hoping to start building the Hatsune Miku frame arms Kotobukiya. I might do this like a build along sort of video. Um, I'll also do some like Digimon like about dual recordings, maybe a uh, deck profile, but just bear in mind I don't have that many Digimon cards. Um, I'm planning to do a bunch of Yu Gi Oh! Uh, theme deck, non meta deck profiles but I think I might hold off on Yu-Gi-Oh stuff for a little while and shift my gears onto other things mainly the reviews um I'll also need to catch up with coursework and look into redoing my CBT again as well because I'm well overdue and I think my MOT is coming up as well so yeah a lot going on especially with things going back to normal and work picking up so yeah there's that oh andy nerf bazooka as well i need to finish and show that off too um but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video sorry it's a bit rambly it was just like a oh gosh and half an hour long update video i wasn't didn't want to go that long but oh well i hope you enjoyed it nonetheless and i hope to see you guys next time you take care of yourselves and don't lick any windows. Bye-bye. <laughs>